Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing very well. Today we are out here on Parque Fernando and we are taking the 30 out 6 out. You know, I haven't really used the 30 out 6 that much, so I figured, hey, you know, I have a little bit of ammo for it. I really like the gun, so why not take it out and give it a try? It has more penetration and slightly more expansion than the 7mm. And in real life, I love the 30 out 6. So, I was like, you know, maybe I'll just take it out and give it a try. So we're just going to go out and try it on quite a few different animals today. It don't really matter what we're after. Um, I'm just going to shoot a little bit of everything, to be honest. But um, I'm really surprised that the 7mm is a 4 to 9, but the 30 out 6 is only a 4 to 8, because the 7mm is actually worse in comparison to the 30 out 6 stats wise but um mule deer i figured would be a very good test for the first animal because they are actually pretty strong in this game and i really really like the way they look as a matter of fact that might be the perfect um herd right there now i could go for this guy he's a little bit bigger and I do actually have a rare of a mule deer. It is a, let's see, was it, I think it's a melanistic female. And I shot her on this map, actually. And I have not played this map for roughly, probably about three months at, at, at best, maybe. So it's been a minute since I've been on this map. But let me go ahead and see if I can line a shot up on one of these mule deer. Holy smokes, there we go. We have a nice deer coming in. This is on the same side that we were just on. Let's see if we can get him to stop walking. And when he gives us a shot, we'll take it. Right here is perfect. No, oh, he stepped. Let's crouch down so he doesn't get alert. And we'll let him step out in the open right here. And that will be a perfect shot. And... absolutely smoked him with that awesome let's go ahead and go take a look at him so he probably only ran like three yards he did not go far at all and he is a nice gold i love the way these guys look and holy crap look at the penetration on that double lung and liver very very nice let's go ahead and take him and let's take a look here we could definitely take a longer shot, but right now I kind of just want to go and look at a couple of other species. Uh, we have, let's see, what was it that we also have on this map? I think it's water buffalo. Um, I might go and see if I can't take a water buffalo with the old 30 out 6. There's a water buffalo right here. Two shots into him just to make sure he goes down. I'm not so sure that that is not a leucistic. If there is leucistic for the water buffalo. I've never seen one with that color before. Could just be a gray. I think it is just a gray. Right, let's see. So we might have actually killed both the puma and the... What's it called? Uh, the water buffalo. Let's see here. Yep, just a gray. So... Honestly, the penetration on this guy with with the OT6 is absolutely awesome. We need to start a petition to get this thing at class 4 to 9 because that's absolutely amazing. So I went ahead and changed the map to Silver Ridge Peaks. There's two animals I have in mind in particular. That being the uh, Rocky Mountain Elk and the Plains Bison. Both of them are very nice for testing out some of the guns for their penetration and whatnot. Um, I also have mule deer and turkey here as well. And you know, I have almost 500 hours in this game and I still do not have a diamond turkey. And I have hunted those almost more than any other, any other species in this game. And I really want one because they're really cool looking. 
And if I had to choose what plumage type, I would say that I would like the light brown on a diamond. Because I really like the way that the light brown looks. We actually have a very nice Tom out there. He is a max weight estimate and he's also a 4 on the trophy scale. And diamond is 4.62. He could make it, but the odds of him actually doing it are pretty low. I have killed probably a couple hundred, and I'm not even exaggerating, of those. And have never got a diamond from a level 4. So, if he does make it, that will be the first diamond I've ever gotten of a turkey. And it'll be from a level 2. But, um, we've also got some bison coming down this way. So we are going to probably be able to kill two birds with one stone. So he's out there at 190, between 170 and 190 now. I need to get him to stop, otherwise he's going to spook. Let me see if I can't put a shot right between his neck and shoulder. If that didn't make it, I don't know what will. But that definitely will put him down. That, my friends, is a massive Plains Bison. I think Diamond for them is like 170-something. I could be wrong there. But we are definitely taking him, because he could score Diamond for us. Don't have a Diamond one of those either yet. And I know that that was a good shot, and he is aggressive. Awesome. Well, I'm not going to shoot him again, because if I do, I could... Could end up messing up the trophy, and we really don't want that, but he should go down pretty quick. And... Down he goes. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the other five animals we shot over here, and then we will go take a look at him. Here is our nice Plains Bison we shot with the 300. See what he scored. Oh, so close. So close. Dang it. So close. Oh well. We, I'm sure we will have a next try, but man, so close. Well, it's time to go find that other one that I shot with the 30 out 6. And let's take a look at the penetration on him. And then we're going to go test it out on a Rocky Mountain Elk. Here is our bison we shot with the 30 out 6. And 30 out 6 actually done pretty decent. Not bad at all. I really hope that they bring the class up for the 30 out 6 because it could definitely do a level 9 animal because so far we've basically proven that it could. But um, I'm also, it's very irritating that the pronghorn are now level 3 because I used to love hunting them with the 7mm but now I can no longer do that. So Hopefully they'll reconsider the class change, but the odds are they're probably going to leave it at 3. But at least I have <clears throat> the 22-250, and we also have the 243 as well. Ah, there we go. Finally, they're, <clears throat> they're spawning in. I usually have a couple of pretty decent sized bulls over there, but unfortunately I don't right now. This guy will do though. So I should just be able to line it for 164 and aim right behind the shoulder and he should go down. Perfect shot. And he is going down. Man, this 30 6 may be my new favorite rifle. It very well may be. Alright, here is our Rocky Mountain Elk. And let's see here. Oh wow, we actually double lunged him from that. Wow. You know, like I was saying though, I never really used the Yacht 6, so didn't really know what to expect going into this, but that's pretty good, honestly. I may have just found my new favorite 4 to 8. So I just shot a stubble quail here, and they have got to be my least favorite animal in this game. Because they are so hard to find and track. But, um, I don't know how big he was, actually. He was a 230... Oh my gosh, he was diamond potential. His top estimate was a 248. Um, well, so 238 is diamond. Okay, I need to remember that. I would like to get one of those diamonds, but the odds of me actually ever finding one of them is almost zero. 
because they are not easy to find. But um, let me continue on down the hill. I still haven't found the Bantang yet. But um, yeah, Stubble Quail is definitely one that I want to get a diamond of. But that will definitely take a minute. Here are the Bantang that I was after. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot this big boy in the back. Let's go ahead and 164. And that should be perfect. He is aggressive. I've never had one of those go aggressive on me. That's actually kind of surprising. Um, he is dropping. And let's shoot him again just to put him down a little quicker. And he is going to deliver himself straight to us. So no tracking needed. And then we'll take a look at the penetration we got on him. Alright, here he is. Take a look at him. And honestly, that's pretty good. Um, let's take a look at this one too. And we actually made it all the way through the front of his neck to the left lung. Which is kind of surprising because I don't see a lot of guns that actually do that in this game. But um, I really don't see any reason why they couldn't make the 30 out 6 a 4 to 9. Because it's actually more powerful than the 7 mil in this. So I really don't see why they couldn't do it. Hopefully they will. Especially if there's bigger animals on the next map. I would love for the out 6 to take a little buff. But um, there's one more animal species that I'm going to try and find. If I do find it, that would be nice. But um, let me go and look for it for just a minute. So we're on Medved. Uh, Taiga here and I'm sure you guys know the animal that I'm fixing to test this gun on because everybody knows you can't have a 4 to 8 and not use it on this one and these right here are what we're after moose because these guys are tanks in this game and he is standing perfectly broadside and we're taking this shot right about here because I want to put this 30 out 6 to its limits um, we'll zero for 328, and I really want a broadside shot, so we'll go for this guy right here. And that should really put the Ot-6 to its test. They take quite a while to go down with really any gun you use if you only get lung shots. But we are definitely fixing to figure out just how good the old Ot-6 is on these moose. Well, we did have to track him for a minute, but here he is. <clears throat> we tracked him for about, let's see... Right, uh, right about here is where we shot him, is kind of where I estimated it. It's about 350 yards. It says I tracked him further than that, but that's not really right. The uh, 30 out 6 just, oh man, barely, barely made it. These moose, though, like I said, they are freaking tanks in this game. I think that's going to be it for today's Call of the Wild video. If you Whatever you want to see for the next video, definitely leave a suggestion down in the comments. And uh, I will definitely take it into consideration. And until next time, guys, stay safe, be careful, and God bless you all. And, well, peace out.